What's up, everybody? This is Ingram, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a pretty powerful um, combustion engine power core that we're going to use in another video tutorial um, to show how uh, I am powering, or actually we, the Minecrafters, are powering our remote quarries. And they are very extremely fast quarries, and they are also extremely fast to set up. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to assume that you know how to refine fuel. And if you don't know how to refine fuel, then leave us a note and we'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so here we go. I filled these tanks up with fuel and just slapped a couple of redstone engines behind them to get um, some stuff flowing. These are wooden waterproof pipes. We want the fuel to flow out. And what I'm going to show you guys how to do is I don't ever like wires or pipes, especially build craft pipes. So um, one of the things that I make sure to do is I use these phased pipe. There are phased waterproof pipes, phased transport pipes, and phased conductive pipes. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change the frequency. I just want to do one, two, three, one, two, three. And what we're going to do with these guys is these things are going to actually remotely pump fuel into our combustion engine. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that since we're using combustion engines, they're actually going to need to be cooled with water. Now the best way to do this is to build an aqueous accumulator and that thing requires only two adjacent water blocks and then we're going to take some waterproof wooden pipe put that on top and then we're going to go ahead and take phase waterproof pipe we're going to remotely transport this as well and we'll put this on a different frequency so that we don't interfere let's go we'll go to plus 10 and so this thing is going to automatically pump, and we're going to use that to cool our combustion engines. Okay, so now we have our fuel and our water being remotely powered and transported. Now we need to set up the actual combustion engines that are going to use it. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to build the actual power generation core. Now the easiest way to do this is to actually build from the inside out. And inside you're going to actually have golden conductive pipe. And what I'll do is I'll set up a little bit of a grid of that here. And since um, gold conductive pipe can't connect directly to a redstone engine, we're going to go ahead and put wooden conductive pipe. And by redstone engine, I meant combustion engine. Now what we need to do is we need to take our combustion engines, and we're going to hook those up like so to the wooden conductive pipe. Now in order to power these things, we're going to need to supply a redstone signal. Unfortunately, Redstone signals will not actually transmit directly um, touching one of these engines. So we have a little bit of a, a walled-in area set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay red wire going up here. And that will allow for our engines, the, the signal will go into this block and then connect to these two engines. Next what we're going to want to do is we're going to hook up our fuel and our uh, water to keep these guys cool. So we're just going to set up. I try and do everything symmetrically, but it's completely up to you. We're going to set this guy, and he'll be the fuel supply. So we're going to put him on channel one, and we're going to take this one here, and we will put him on channel two. And we're going to change these guys to send and receive. And so now you can see almost immediately fuel is going to start flooding in. Now we just have to do the same exact thing. I'm going to use cobblestone instead of stone pipe. doesn't matter. I just don't want them to connect by accident. And we're going to do the same thing, except if you remember, our frequency from over here, I believe, was 10. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put that guy there, that guy there, and we're going to connect them both to number 10 frequency. We're going to set them to send and receive. Send and receive, number 10. And there you go, our fuel and our water is going to start flooding into our engines. I actually wanted to just correct something from before. These machines, this aqueous accumulator, doesn't actually need wooden waterproof pipe. Um, you can just put regular waterproof pipe there of any type, and it will work the same. So that it requires no power and no intervention to get that water flowing constantly, which is really awesome. Okay, so these guys are, are filling up. They're not completely full yet, but they're full enough for what we're going to do. Now the way that I run these is you really shouldn't run combustion engines. There are more elaborate ways to, to turn them on and off, but you really shouldn't run them constantly. 
So to play it on the safe side, I just take a sequencer and I slap it down there and I put it on an interval and you're, you're going to want to target either three minutes per sequencer side or roughly five minutes total. So I'm just going to let that go on the way it is now and we're going to want to make sure that this is on. So our sequencer is on and running and these engines are going to start firing up and you can see that they immediately start pumping out power. Now what we want to do is take advantage of this power. The way that we can do that is through the use of something called a phased conductive pipe. Now this guy we can put on there and he will actually send that power. We'll put it on channel 100 and he'll actually send that power out. And these things are going to explode because I didn't we don't have anything using um, that power yet, so I'm just going to turn the sequencer off, which unfortunately means I have to break something. But what will happen is these engines will generate all that power and pump it out through this, this remote, basically it's a remote power teleport pipe. And what we're going to do is in our quarry setup, we're going to actually use this power to remotely power our quarry from anywhere in the world. So that's the basic engine core design. You can take and expand this as much as you want. You can put engines on all these different sides. Um, the way we have it in our Minecrafters base, there's actually uh, a multi-sided tower of this, and the sequencer is connected to shutoff switch and everything, so that we can uh, we turn on entire sides and we main maintain constant uh, generation of power without letting the engines go for more than six minutes, so that they never ever explode because it, it's built right under most of our base, and we don't want it to explode. It's a pretty devastating explosion. So there you go. There's your basic. Um, is your basic remote power core tutorial. Um, in the very next tutorial, we're going to look at how to remotely power quarries um, and get them running at top speed with this exact setup. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let us know either here or on the website at themindcrafters.com. Make sure to check that out. We'll, we post stuff there all the time. Um, again, thanks for watching. And as always, stay poised.